Hey everybody, Darren with Kudos Crew, and yeah, it's time for another Crew to You. And today's topic is going to be images and what you can do with them. So stay tuned. All right, so I want to touch quickly on the use of images on your website because it's very, very important. There's a misconception out there that because an image is uh, on the web, and I found it on the internet, that I'm free to use it. And the stark reality is that, no, you're not. Uh, they have copyright protections. There are creative licenses that are attached to them. Some of them say you can use them. Some, A lot of them, you can't. They're, they're copyrighted. They're the, the, the ownership of the photographer that took them. And unless you have some sort of expressed consent to be able to use that photograph in a commercial application, I'm not talking editorial, I'm not talking personal blogs or anything like that. I'm talking your business page for a something that is commercial application oriented, you can't use them. Now there's a couple licenses out there for uh, the use of photographs. One is Creative Commons, the other is um, the general uh, G GPL, they call the New Public License. Both of those you have to read the terms of the license itself. Some will grant you the ability to use it commercially. Most of them, I mean, plain and simple, you can't unless you've got that written permission. So what are your best options? Your best options are, a, 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 well, there's three main options. One, take them yourself, okay? Today's DLSRs, even the iPhones. I, I use iPhones, I, I take my iPhone everywhere, I'm snapping photographs everywhere. Because they're such high quality now and you can run them through filters with like Instagram and some, and, and even you know Photoshop, that you can come up with some really high quality photographs, because uh, I'm, and I, I know this for a fact because I'm doing it myself, that you can come up with some great images to be able to use on uh, a website, your website, whatever it may be. The best thing about that is because it's your photograph, you own all the rights. You can do whatever you like with it. The second option is one of the big stock photography websites. So like a big stock photo or an iPhoto or a dream photo. And there's, there's a lot of them out there where photographers put all their images on there they give them full rights, and for a small fee, which a portion of that goes back then back to the photographer, you're able to use those royalty-free in a commercial application and do what, whatever you want with them. And that's actually the, one of the biggest sources that I use for my photographs. The third option is, of course, you can't find the right photo. You go out and you hire somebody. I mean, that's gonna, but that's gonna run you three, four, five hundred dollars, maybe minimum for that setup depending on what image it, Im it, what the image is that you want but depending on that image maybe that is money well spent and these are all options that you have usually when working with the web designer and of course working with us at Kudos Crew we give you all those options we have people that we can talk to and do that so let's turn over the computer just for a minute we'll take a look at some of the ideas that you can do and some of the images you're getting from those sites so if we look at my computer screen right now, you see a kind of a collage of different images. A number of those images I'm getting from stock photo sites. Some of those I am grabbing where I can, anytime I can, because sometimes those stock photo sites, we have a free picture of the day. The free picture of the day, they're, they're not requiring you to pay for it, and they're saying you can use it commercially whatever and of course that's it's like a lost leader they're trying to get you to like the photograph so that you will then subscribe to their service but if they're offering it and you like the photograph grab it there's no reason that you can't so the top row is actually a mixture of both images I've gotten from the some of the stock image sites and some of the ones that I've taken myself so the picture of the ocean the kind of the corporate photo those are stock image sites the picture of the building with kind of the wires in front, that's actually images that I've taken myself with my DLSR. Now I talked about images with your iPhone. If you see the pier, you know, these two images right here and right here, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I take those with my iPhone. It's, it works. You can take them. Uh, these images here, uh, the firefighters and what looks like the gunslingers, I mean, <laughs> This one, seriously, it looks like it could be a scene from the movie Tombstone. That was from a parade that I was at. I, I tried never be, to be without my camera. Uh, again, these pile of logs. Again, these are all uh, sections where I was able to get, grab those, those images, those log images. I got them for free. So again, it was, it was an enticement to go to this uh, photo website. So those are some of the ideas that you can do, and you know I can scroll on more images, see more images I've taken, stock photo, stock photo, 
again, all the piers, those are images that I've taken, backgrounds, um, so photography related, acting related, kind of, kind of zen, housing related. If I see a great image, I'm going to grab it. But again, all these images I've gotten as part of my subscription sites, and that way I'm protected, and I want you to be protected too. So that's my stint on images. See you next time. Take it easy.